Hello Vinyl Community, back with some more finds with this. I got some thrift store vinyl, eight tracks and cassettes. So I'm just gonna get started. I don't have any singles to show, so. Bob Dylan's Greatest Hits Volume 2. I got lucky at the Goodwill I went to because normally I don't find anything there. But um, they had these and there's a few Goodwills in my area. The, um, one of them has records for 59 cents. One of them is records for a dollar and one of them is three for a dollar. And this was the three for a dollar one, so. I got all these for 33 cents, which is not a bad price. Um, this is Bob Dylan's Greatest Hits Volume 2. Two album set, just gonna show this one disc. And um, pretty clean too, it's not too bad, it just has ring wear. No seam splits or anything. Here's the second one, Bad Company Straight Shooter. Some of these have a little bit of water damage like this to the corner. Um, overall though, not a bad copy, it still plays pretty well. It has the original inner, which is kind of crinkled. Um, original and Swan Song, really nice record label too. Um, this is one I didn't have either, so really glad. Um, some of these that I got I already have, but like, you know, I'm not going to pass them up for cheap. This next one is one that I had a few years ago that I traded away. This is definitely not the best copy, but it's a good filler copy because the discs on it um, are in pretty good condition, but the covers kind of beat. Um, the song remains the same, Led Zeppelin. Um, this has the booklet inside and everything in the black inners, as you can see, kind of beat. Well, kind is an understatement, but um, it at least has the book inside. And the copy I had, like I said, I traded away a few years ago. So, I'm glad to have this album back. It has the original inners, two records set. I'm only going to sew one of the records, though. Overall, not too bad. So, if I ever find a better cover, then I'm just going to swap out the discs, because the discs on it are, uh, you know, VG+. Plus. This is one I already had, but I'm not going to pass it up for cheap. It's Pyromania, Def Leppard. Um, not in too bad a condition, just has very minor wear to it. The disc on it is really nice, too. So, really glad to find this one. Next one is another one I already had, but it's in good condition, so I'm not going to pass it up. ZZ Top. Um, I forgot that this album was actually called, so give me a second. There. <laughs> okay, how did I forget what this is called? Eliminator, okay. Has the original inner. Not too bad a condition either. It has a lot of hits on it. And the disc on it is actually really nice. Um, I played it, played really well. So, I was really glad to find this, definitely. Um, I think it's better condition than the other one I have. I might need to check. Oh, excuse me. This one I got just because it's in really nice condition. It's not an artist I normally buy. Neil Diamond's Greatest Hits. I got this because it's like minty, minty copy. Um, really clean. Disc on it looks nice. There's barely any seam wear on it whatsoever. No seam splits. Really clean, and uh, like I said, the seams on it and everything is just so nice. It's just a beautiful copy, so I'm not going to pass it up. Let me show the seams. Yeah, Ironically, the only seam with somewhere is the top which barely has any than the spine and bottom is beautiful this was an is an upgrade definitely and it's one that i have in like really bad condition so i'm really glad upgrading it it's metal health by quiet riot um it has their hits metal health and come on feel the noise uh, my other copies really beat this one's pretty clean disc on it looks barely touched it's in really nice condition can't wait to play this one um, classic album. I think just about every metal fan has this in their collection. This is one that, even though I already have in really nice condition, I couldn't leave it there because it's, you know, I wanted to pick it up. I couldn't leave it there. Back in Black, ACDC, cover on its beat, but the disc is, you know, good plus, VG minus. It's been played, but it hasn't been really too abused. I'm not sure if you can see, but it just has very minor scratching to it. Not really any huge issues with it. This is the final record before I go on to cassettes and 8 tracks. Um, this one I got mainly for the cover, but um, I can always replace the disc inside because the disc is really scratched up. It's Johnny Rivers recorded live and then some. It's just the cover on this is really solid, no seam splits, really not too much wear to it besides just uh, ring wear. That's about it. Um, spine on it, everything's really nice, but the disc is just really beat up. It's been played a lot. Whoever had this must have really enjoyed the album. It plays with a lot of background noise, so if uh, if and when I find one in better condition, I could just swap it if the cover's not that good. So now I'm going to go on to cassettes. This is Eagles Hotel California. I have a CD of this vinyl, 
eight track and now cassette this is the best sounding version i've heard of it, it sounds really really nice um that's a record club pressing too another record club pressing crosby stills and nash another record club pressing uh bob seeger night moves and um this is a, this is just a standard copy uh bob dylan's greatest hits so now i'm gonna go on to eight tracks i have boston don't look back really really good played one um, nice condition too. Um, I have a few Eagles ones here. I have one of these knights. All of these are replaced the splices and pads in too. So um, Eagles Hotel California. Eagles uh, Greatest Hits. This is a, a record club pressing one. Columbia uh, Record Club, and it has the outer slipcase and everything. This is the best of Peter Paul and Mary. Uh, Johnny Cash Greatest Hits Volume 3, The Best of Bread, Rod Stewart Blondes Have More Fun. I grab these mainly because I never find 8-tracks, so, um, you know, when I find them, I'll grab them. Rock Sounds of Today, which is just like covers of, uh, songs that aren't popular at the time. They're actually pretty good covers, too, so, um... You know, I knew it was covers when I get it when I was getting it, so I got it just as something to play in the background. Today's Soul, another one of the series where uh, it's covers. And this one is kind of unplayable because there's an issue with the tape, even though I've tried doing everything I could to fix it. It's Rod Stewart, Every Picture Tells a Story. Um, this one just has issues with the tape itself that it's just... It doesn't, it doesn't want to line up or anything. It's really weird, so it's not one I'm going to be listening to. But other than that, I'm really glad with all these finds. So thank you guys for watching, and, uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't. So, um, yeah, thanks.